Recently, my wife is behaving weirdly. She put these wrinkly lines everywhere. Like this. Do you know what used to be here? This, my cute, beautiful cactus. And even here, inside my backpack. And that's not it. She also ordered me to shower with pomelo leaves and lime water. And later ordered me to pick up the leaves with my chopsticks and told me I should never touch the leaves with my bare hands. Wifey, why are you doing this to me? Why? Because you visit some place dirty. Dirty. Some place that has bad spirits. So I learned this method from... Singapore! Okay, so this is my Singaporean mother-in-law. Uh, mom. Yeah. Why is your doctor putting limes everywhere and ordering me to pour water with pomelo leaves? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, like it's our Chinese tradition. What? It's tradition? To, yes, it's actually to get rid of negative energy. Ah, negative yeah. energy? Yes. The, the, the lime? Ah. Yeah, the, the lime. And, and my wife told me the, the more wrinkly, the better. Yes, yes, of Why? course. Ah? Yeah, when negative energy comes, right? Mm. Because of the rough surface, huh, it will bounce away the negative energy. Do you know what, mom? Guess what's in here. What is that? <laughs> you also have. Thanks to you, she ah. put lime here. Yeah, and yeah. she will scold me if I put it out. For your safety sake, what? Yeah. Last time you never put this lime into your beside oh, you, right? That's then why I got you, COVID. You can, uh. <laughs> yeah, don't play, play. Uh. Not only yeah. you. You see, you see, I also, you see, uh. one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, I have one even more powerful you than yours. Are you serious, mom? Your one so small, my one bigger, you see? You see? <laughs> oh, oh, you laugh. Yeah. Super wrinkly. Yes. Guys, this is not scripted. I did not know mom had it. Do you weapon. always carry this? This is my secret weapon, okay? So I always in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let people know, huh? I say, huh? <laughs> but mom, the question is, do the limes really work? Yeah, it really works. You know, I will tell you my true experience story. What happened? Something what happened? happened. I think that was uh, three years ago, you know. Uh -huh. I think during that time, I think my spiritual level might be very low, like, okay, you know, during okay. the night uh, when I sleep, right? Sometimes I felt like, you know, when I'm going to fall asleep, but sometimes they just suddenly like rub my forehead, you know. And then I was so scared. I, thought, I thought, who is the one who suddenly touched my forehead? It, it, it's there, no? Just, just, just swipe it. Your husband? One swipe. Then I thought, it's my husband. Yeah. But then when I turn my head round, my husband is beside me sleeping. So, I, I was so afraid, you know, so scared know. that time. The next day, right, oh. it happened something uh, quite scary again, you know. Again? I suddenly, like, you know, I saw somebody right down my... You in saw? front of my bed, you know. No, no, wait, did something happen or you just wake up and saw someone? No, I saw, I saw. That, that time, I haven't slept yet. Okay. Yeah, I was still afresh. And then I saw somebody right below me, you know. Uh, I think very... Uh, something all fully white with long hair, you know. I look at me, you know, and press my leg that I couldn't even get up and I couldn't even open my mouth and 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 shout, you no. Know. You can't move. I, I can't move. How long was that? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, very long, you know. Then I so scared. Some more, I, I, I look at the person, you know, what? and the person looking at me also. His face, is her, her face. What kind, what kind of face? I'm not very clear la, but I can see like a bit blur. And then, but I understand that very clearly that it's long hair and fully You're dreaming fully la, white. no? Not dreaming la. That time I'm still very awake. I haven't slept yet. And then uh, next day, right? Before I fall asleep, ma, wow, la, somebody knocked at my head some more. So disturbance, you know. Again la? Uh, then I'm so angry, you know. I say, hey, excuse me. Can you please don't come and disturb me, you know? I want to sleep la. <laughs> I, I, I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. Oh, yeah. so you're so strong, I'm huh? not scared. Yeah, I'm I so strong. I will be scared. Yeah, then I score, no. I say, hey, can you please don't disturb me, you know? When I'm <laughs> going to sleep, I'm so tired, you know? The uh. next day, I don't want this to be happen again. Yeah. Then I was thinking, oh, there's a traditional, you know? The lime. Method that I thought of, the lime, yes! <laughs> then I quickly go and buy, you know? You know, I put beside my pillow, you know? And that night onward, it never happens this kind of incidents again. Wow. From that night onward, you see? How miracle <laughs> this lime works, works or no? You don't laugh ah. It's really true, no? Wow. Mm, yeah, true. Do we believe it now? Yeah, this is my own true experience, no? Don't play play. Ah. Mom's story was very scary, but I'm from the land of yokais. 
I have a lot of supernatural stories to tell. In Japanese folklore, yokai refers to legendary ghosts, monsters, and spirits. Rooted in Japanese animism, ancient Japanese religion, and the providence of nature, yokais are attributed with strange behaviors to explain the otherwise mysterious phenomena encountered in ancient life. The first story I'm sharing is Kuchisake Onna, the slit mouthed woman. Long time ago, there was a woman who was so beautiful that she was courted by many men. Out of all her suitors, she decided to marry an important samurai. However, soon, her husband had to go to war and she started feeling very lonely. That led to her cheating on a different man. The husband eventually came back from war and was shocked to find her with a different man. Ooh. The woman's face turned white after seeing him. Then all of a sudden, her husband killed the other man, stabbed him, oh. and then marched in front of her and asked, do you think you are beautiful? Then he held her strongly and put the sword in her mouth and full of jealousy cut her mouth while the lady wouldn't stop screaming. People say the woman turned into an evil spirit, the Kuchisake Onna, who came back to our world thirsty for revenge. So, Appearance-wise, she looks like a completely normal person, but that's because she hides her wounds by wearing a mask. Oh. Kuchisake Onna wanders around the streets looking for victims. She approaches them and asks, Am I beautiful? If you are carried along by her beauty and you answer yes, she will slowly take her mask off, letting you see her horrible scars and then she'll ask again. And now... If the victim gets scared, screams or says no, the woman will cut their mouth using some big scissors imitating her scars. The victim will bleed to death. The wounds caused by Kuchisake Onna can never be healed. Mom, I didn't tell you but I'm actually Kuchi ah, So scary! So scary! Am I you look so scary! Yes! You are truly very beautiful! Am I still uh, beautiful? Yes! You're very beautiful! You are Don't beautiful! Alright, so Kuchisake Onna can be found in Ghostwire Tokyo. It's a super exciting new video game that's coming out on the 25th of March in PS5 and PC. Big thanks to PlayStation Asia for a chance to work together on this. Ghostwire Tokyo takes place in beautifully haunted Tokyo. Uh, you'll get to explore Tokyo filled with yokais like Kuchisake Onna. So mom, did you like the story of Kuchisake Onna? Yeah, I like. It's yeah. a very interesting but scary story. So Kuchisake Onna is a story even kids nowadays in Japan know, like every kid knows it. Mm. But the next yokai is also very popular among the Japanese and can also be found in Ghostwire Tokyo. Nobelabo. On the road to Akasaka near Tokyo, there is a hill called Kii no Kunizaka. When there was no public lighting, that place was deserted at night. One day, an old merchant saw a woman crouched near the pit. She was alone and was crying. The merchant wanted to help her. Distinguished miss, he told her. Don't cry like that. Tell me your sorrows. I will be happy to help you. But the girl kept on crying, with her head hidden between the wide sleeves of her dress. I beg you, it is no place for a lady to be alone at this time of night. Don't cry anymore and tell me the cause of your grief. Then the woman got up slowly. She groaned and cried on her back, her face hidden. The old merchant put a hand on her shoulder and begged for the third time. Listen to me for a moment. The lady suddenly turned around abruptly. She had no eyes, no nose, no mouth. Oh, so scary. Her face was completely blank. The man screamed in fright and ran away. Mm. He saw a flashlight in the distance. It was a Soba street vendor who had put his stall on the side of the road. The old man came to him and fell at his feet, 
whimpering. The vendor asked, "What's wrong with you? Are you okay?" The merchant then replied, "Near the pit, I I I saw a woman who who her her face was ah I can't describe it." Then the seller replied, "Was it something like this?" Then the merchant realized that even the vendor didn't have a face. So, mom, this is the story of No Pelabo. It's a faceless yokai. Uh, its purpose is to scare people, but that's it. It's uh, there's like no victims. They just uh, the No Pelabo. They just want to scare people. So it's it's kind of harmless, but very scary, right? Imagine encountering No Pelabo. Mom, I didn't yes. tell you, but I am actually No Pelabo. Ah! So scary! How come your face is blank? Who are you? So scary! <laughs> Yeah, help! That's because I'm no pillable. Ah, so scary! Don't scare me, please, please. Where's my lime? My lime? My lime? Where are you? Oh, help me, my lime! I ate your lime. My lime is here. Oh, my lime! Oh, my lime. <laughs> yeah, yes, my powerful lime. <laughs> it, it sounds like a uh, sponsored video by a lime. <laughs> Mom, you're going home, ah? Yeah, Singapore is all right, Be careful on your way home. Yeah, of course, sure. Don't worry. I got a secret weapon in my bag. <laughs> I definitely will be safe. <laughs> so if you're interested about Japanese supernatural tales or want to visit Tokyo virtually, uh, definitely check out this new upcoming video game, Ghostwire Tokyo. Tokyo in this video game is absolutely beautiful, and I know a lot of us cannot still travel to Japan freely so this will in a way satisfy your craving to uh, want to travel to Japan. It's a video game by Mikami Shinji who is one of the most popular game designers, game producers in the whole world. Um, I absolutely love his game so I'm personally super excited about this video game. I'm getting my PS5 finally and I'm also gonna get Ghostwire Tokyo so let's play it together. Uh, and don't worry it's not a horror game um, but there are supernatural aspects which I believe will make the game super exciting. I put all the info in the description box below. Um, there is also three days early access for pre-order of the digital deluxe edition but this is only available on PS5. Before ending the video, uh, be careful of Japanese yokais. You'll never know when they will appear. Japan lands out y'all. Am I beautiful?